Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how you can deploy your Solidity smart contracts on Ethereum to a uh, testnet. And we're going to do it using Truffle. So this is how to deploy to the Roopstein testnet with Truffle. So we're going to go through the Truffle configuration and install the tools that you need. And then we're going to deploy it to the Roopstein test network. What you need in order to do this tutorial, the prerequisite is that you have a directory set up where you have your Truffle project. If you don't know Truffle or don't know how to set up a Truffle project, I'll leave a link to the Truffle tutorial, the series that I did on Truffle. You can check that out. You will also need an account on um, or an address on the Roopstein test network. And you need to generate an address and a private key with the seed phrase and the mnemonic seed. And you need to actually have some testnet coins in that account. I'll leave two more links in the description. One where you can generate a mnemonic seed that you then can use on uh, my ether wallet in order to actually get the address. And then you can fund that account with testnet coins from the other um, from the other link I'll leave, which is a faucet. So you can use that as well. You can check those links out. Those are the prerequisites. When you do have that, you're going to open up your Truffle project in your uh, editor of choice. And we're going to check it out here. Uh, let's see, can I make this bigger for you guys? This is the Truffle configuration file. And Truffle has made, this, made it quite easy for us because they have pre-populate all of the... Uh, They've pre-written all of the configs that we need for this. It's just a matter of uncommenting it. So what we'll start with is at the top here, we see this HD wallet provider and Infura key and um, an FS tool and then the mnemonic variable. We'll un uncomment all of these. And this will just leave as it is, but for the second part here, we need to get an Infura key. And in order to do that, you need to go to, um, you need to go to Infura.io. And here you need to sign up. So you're gonna press sign up, enter your email address and all of that. And uh, once you are signed in here, you are going to uh, take the, uh, endpoint here. I don't know if you can see it when it says endpoint here, and then you can select Roopstein from the drop down menu, press the copy button. And then you want to go back to Adam and you want to paste that into here in Fura key. But then you can remove this first part and just have the last uh, key there. That is um, all that you need. And then this part is to actually get the mnemonic seed from a file that, that's called secret. We could just paste the mnemonic phrase into here, like a string, but you wouldn't want that if you, um, for example, have your files hosted on GitHub or they're open source in any way, because then people might see your mnemonic seed. And that's not an issue on the testnet, of course, but if you're going to do this on the mainnet sometime, which is the exactly the same procedure, then you, you don't want your private key basically to be public. So you want to have that in a file that you don't commit to GitHub. And that's the file that we're going to create here, and that's called dot secret. And in here, we'll paste the mnemonic seed. I'm not going to show you mine because then you just steal my testnet coin, so I'm not going to do that. But in here, you want to just uh, paste your uh, mnemonic seed just uh, in plain text like this, uh, with spaces in between, of course. And you want to save that file and then go back. And then what this library is going to do FS is to actually read this file. So it's going to read the, read the file dot secret. It's going to convert it to a string and then trim uh, if you have any white space and so on. So then we'll get it in this mnemonic variable. Then what we need to do is to define a network. And that is done here in the networks object. And this is already predefined by uh, Truffle. So we just have to uncomment this where it says Roopstein. Uh, let's uncomment that. And um, there's actually nothing that we need to change here. We have everything uh, that we need. This is just a configuration for the Roopstein network. How many confirmations we're going to wait for. 
uh, what uh, gas limit we're going to use, the network ID. And then this is the actual provider where we configure it to use this HD wallet provider, which is a wallet that Truffle uses that can sign transactions for us with our private key, which in this is in the secret file as the mnemonic seed. And then which URL, uh, which actual node it's going to connect to, and that is the Infura node. You could have your own local node running as well, and then you could connect to that. But uh, now we're going to do it simply with an Infura node. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and save that. And now let's open up the terminal and go into this directory. And there you want to type npm in it. And press through all of these questions. There we go. Then I'm going to do npm install fs, which was the uh, uh, version of... Uh, version of, um, which was the tool that we're going to use in order to read the file. And then you want to go npm install hd, let's see, truffle hd wallet provider, like that. Truffle dash hd wallet dash provider. Anyone need to enter? And that shouldn't take that long time. So I think I'll wait for this to finish. There we go. Once that is done, we are ready to deploy. And uh, I only have a very simple contract here. We have a number that we can get and we can add, you know, increase it. But you might have a very complex contract. But once that's done, we're going to run truffle migrate dash dash network and then rinkyb. So this is how we select the network. Otherwise, it would just migrate to our local truffle node. But this is how we select the network that we just configured. So let's hit enter and let's run the migration. And this is going to take uh, a bit longer time because especially when you're working with the testnet as the endpoint. Oh, wait, of course, <clears throat> we're going to run truffle network um, ropesten. Sorry, of course, it's going to be ropesten. That was the network that we defined. The Rinkeby is another test network, but we're going to use ropesten today. Both of those are Swedish names. But what I was going to say was that this takes longer time when we're working uh, against the real blockchain, not just our own local node, because now actual miners has to put it into blocks and we have to wait for confirmations. So it's going to deploy the initial migration file first and then our, uh, our second contract. And if you don't know how to write migrations, I have a tutorial for that as well. So I'll link that in the description as well, or you can check out my Truffle playlist. There will be a lot of links in the description, uh, it seems like, but I hope you can find your way there. And uh, this can take some time, as I said, so I'll meet you back here when it's done. And there we go. Then our deployment is ready. And we get all of the details here of uh, the transaction and the deployment. And we can check out, for example, the uh, contract addresses. So we get an address, but we can check out in a block explorer. So we can open up a window here and we can go to, um, let's see here, roopsten.etherscan.io which is a block explorer then for Roopsten. And then we can check out our contract. So it is now live here. We can see that we just had the contract creation. I hope that you can see this. Let me see here. We just had the contract creation. And um, now you can actually interact with your contract if you want to. So you could, for example, go to my Ether wallet and you can interact with your contract uh, through there, through MetaMask. And um, yeah, now it's live on the test network. And it's the exact same procedure if you want to deploy it to the mainnet. Then you would simply change the Truffle config so you would have a um, a network that is called the mainnet. And you would change the provider to uh, have a URL that points to maybe mainnet.infura.io. Was that what it was called? Or your own node that is connected to the mainnet. And you, of course, need to have a wallet and a private key that has funds on the mainnet and deploy it through there. So it's not very, uh, very different. Once you know this, you know how to deploy it to the mainnet as well. But I hope that you learned something in this video. And uh, don't forget to check out my links in the description where you can get an insane discount on our academy. Uh, if you want to learn this in detail, we have a smart contract course, we have a blockchain fundamentals course, we have a business course that is very, very interesting. And now in early February, our gaming course is released, Decentralized Gaming. So go and check that out at academy.ivanotech.com and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or if you didn't like the video, you can always hit the dislike button as always. 
and um, thank you for watching i will see you in the next video